the you know we get a lot of questions about bone spurs you know do bone spurs really have to be removed and what I'm about to tell you it's really interesting uh, no, and I find it still very interesting. And uh, one day I was in the office and this person asked the question, you know, do bone spurs really need to be removed? And I said to him, I'm like, George, here, I'm going to show you something. And I went over and I pointed to our cabinets, you know, our cabinets and the cabinet door. And I said, let me ask you a question. When this cabinet door on the right side hits the cabinet door on the left side, what's wrong? And right away, George goes, it's the hinge. Your hinge is loose. I said, wait a second. Shouldn't I actually, because they're hitting, right? The bone spur is hitting something. Isn't it because these two doors are hitting? Why don't I just get a saw and I'll saw off this and then the, the, the two doors won't hit? And he's like, no, you got to get a screwdriver and you got to tighten in the screw. So then what I did was I opened up the cabinet door I opened up the cabinet door. I said, see this hinge, it has two screws. And I said, what's going to happen if this one screw's loose? What's going to happen to the other screw? And he said, it's going to get loose. I go, okay. So now this, both of these screws are loose. Then what's going to happen to the next hinge? And he said, then that one's going to get loose. And I said, what's going to happen to the next one? He said, that one's going to get loose. And I said, obviously, then as it relates to your hip and your shoulder, I think he had a hip problem. So I said, you know, he had hip impingement. So hip impingement is what? The one cabinet door is hitting the other cabinet door. So should the treatment of that condition be to shave the cabinet door or should it be to tighten the screw, to get a Phillips screwdriver and screw that screw in? So then what? So then the two cabinet doors aren't going to hit. I mean, if you just kind of think about that, to me, it's so interesting. Because all of a sudden, to most people, they're like, oh my gosh, that's exactly true. Why did the bone spur occur? The two cabinet doors were hitting. The two cabinet doors were hitting. The two bones were hitting. Then a bone spur forms. So the treatment should be to help the cabinet doors not to hit anymore. And the treatment should be is all you got to do is tighten the ligament. All you have to do is tighten the ligament. The hinge is the joint. The screw is the ligament. Just get your ligament tightened. Get the hip ligaments tightened. Get the shoulder ligaments tightened. Then all of a sudden, guess what? The, the, the bones aren't going to hit. And then when the bones don't hit, guess what? You know, you don't have the pain. Now, as long as the ball in the hip joint is still a ball, and as long as the shoulder ball is still a ball, you can get prolotherapy, and prolotherapy could be curative, or it's going to get rid of almost all the pain. Joint instability, just like the loose hinge on a cabinet door, it increases the pressure. So in other words, when the, when the hinge is loose and the two doors hit, there's increased pressure where the two doors are hitting. Because normally, there's no pressure when the doors close. So you can understand if you have a loose hip joint and those two bones are hitting, that's increased pressure, it's going to be pain, and you're going to get a bone spur formed. So the treatment should be to tighten the hinge, get prolotherapy, tighten the ligament. However, that increased pressure, if it goes on for too long of a period, then that ball, that's too much pressure, and they're hitting, because remember, the doors are hitting. It's hitting, it's hitting. So that ball could become flat, and the treatment to get a flat part of ball is a joint replacement. So obviously, I would encourage people, if you ever get the diagnosis of a bone spur, you got a bone spur forming, or you got impingement, the treatment is prolotherapy. You've got to tighten the hinge, and if you don't tighten the hinge, that bone spur is just going to keep growing and growing, and you're going to lose more and more motion. So the treatment should be for impingement syndrome, bone spurs, bone spurs in the heel, bone spurs in the shoulder. Bone spurs form because the, the hinge is loose. And we call that in medicine joint instability. The cause of impingement or bone spurs forming is joint instability. And the treatment for joint instability is to tighten the hinge, repair the ligament, screw in the screw. The treatment for that is prolotherapy. It works very, very good for the, those conditions.